Porsche is a name that has become synonymous with luxury and performance, but have you ever wondered about the origins of this iconic car brand? The son of a plumber, who rose to greatness as a master engineer and entrepreneur. Ferdinand Porsche's journey from a small workshop to a global phenomenon is one of innovation, determination, and legacy. But what inspired him to create some of the most coveted automobiles on the market? And how did he turn his vision into a reality? Discover the fascinating story of the boy who built a lasting legacy in the automotive industry. Chapter 1. Ferdinand Porsche Ferdinand Porsche was born in Maffersdorf, Austria in 1875, the son of Anna and Anton Porsche. Anton was a plumber, and Ferdinand often worked in his father's workshop as a child. From a young age, he was fascinated by mechanics and engineering. As Ferdinand grew older, his love for mechanics only grew stronger. He became determined to become an engineer, and against his parents' wishes, he left home to pursue his dream. He moved to Vienna and enrolled in a technical school, where he excelled in his studies. After graduation, Porsche landed a job at a company called Bellarega Co., where he worked on the development of electric vehicles. It was during this time that he began to develop his own ideas for innovative new vehicles, and he started to sketch out designs for cars that were faster, more efficient, and more reliable than anything that had come before. Despite his successes, Porsche faced many struggles along the way. He often worked long hours and had to deal with difficult clients and tight budgets. But he never let these challenges get him down, and he continued to work tirelessly to achieve his goals. Finally, in 1909, Porsche's hard work paid off when he was offered a job as the chief engineer at Austro Daimler, a leading car manufacturer at the time. It was here that he designed some of the most iconic cars of the early 20th century, including the Mercedes 35 horsepower and the Mercedes SSK. Chapter 2. The Founding of Porsche Ferdinand Porsche had spent much of his career working for other companies, but in the 1930s, he finally got his big break. The German government approached him with a unique opportunity to design a people's car that could be mass-produced and affordable for the average citizen. Porsche, who had always been passionate about engineering and design, jumped at the chance. He set to work on what would eventually become the iconic Volkswagen Beetle, a car that would change the automotive industry forever. The Beetle was a huge success, and Porsche's reputation as a brilliant engineer and designer was solidified. In 1948, he decided to take his talents to the next level and founded his own company, Porsche Ag. At Porsche Ag, Ferdinand Porsche's goal was to create sports cars that were unrivaled in speed and performance. He and his team worked tirelessly to develop innovative designs and technologies, and their hard work paid off. Chapter 3. Overwhelming Challenges Porsche Company has faced numerous challenges along the way to becoming the global leader it is today. One of the biggest challenges Porsche faced in its early years was the need to establish itself in a crowded and competitive market. At the time, there were already several well-established automakers vying for a share of the market, and it was difficult for a new company to make a name for itself. Another challenge was the need to develop a loyal customer base. In order to survive and thrive, Porsche had to produce high-quality vehicles that people wanted to buy. This meant constantly innovating and improving their designs, as well as building a reputation for excellence and reliability. Porsche also had to overcome financial challenges in its early years. As a new company, it had limited resources and had to be careful with its spending. This meant making tough decisions about where to allocate funds and how to best use their limited budget. Despite these challenges, Porsche was able to overcome them and emerge as a leader in the automotive industry. Chapter 4 the rise of Porsche. In the years following the founding of Porsche Ag, the company quickly made a name for itself in the automotive industry with its innovative sports cars. The 356 and 911 models, in particular, garnered a devoted following among car enthusiasts thanks to their superior engineering and sleek designs. Porsche's commitment to innovation and excellence set them apart from their competitors, and it wasn't long before the company became a leader in the industry. They raced to victory in numerous competitions, cementing their reputation as a top-tire racing brand. The success of the 356 and 911 models laid the foundation for future Porsche models, which continued to set the bar for performance and innovation in the automotive industry. Over the years, Porsche has introduced numerous new models, each one more impressive than the last. Today, the brand is known around the world for producing some of the most coveted and respected sports cars on the market. 
Its success is a testament to the hard work, determination, and passion of Ferdinand Porsche and his team, who never let challenges stand in the way of their dreams. Chapter 5 Legacy And so, the young son of a plumber from Austria rose to become a racing legend, leaving behind a legacy that would shape the automotive industry for generations to come. Ferdinand Porsche's determination, innovation, and passion for speed and performance will always be remembered, and his iconic sports cars will continue to thrill and inspire car enthusiasts around the world. The origins of Porsche may have been humble, but the brand has gone on to achieve greatness and has left a lasting mark on the world of automobiles.